Hey guys, Nathan here. So I was supposed to have a cloning tutorial come out today as a tie-in to a music video that was supposed to drop, but because of coronavirus, the video got pushed a little bit, so I'm just gonna wait to drop that, hopefully later this week. And for any problematic fans out there, yes, it's that music video, so get hyped. Anyway, I didn't wanna leave you folks without a tutorial at the beginning of the week, so I figured I'd make a video all about adjustment clips and how they can help you speed up your editing and color grading process. Okay, let's get into it. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve, and to get to the adjustment clips, we're just gonna go into Effects and Adjustment Clip. Now, this works almost identically to Adjustment Layers, which if anyone was a Premiere Pro user, I was as of two years ago, um, I use these all the time, and they work fairly similarly. So, we toss it on top of our clip here. Now, we can do a number of things. So, let's say we have this grade on this clip here. Now we're just gonna copy this, so Command C or Control C, and we're just gonna disable that and then go into our adjustment clip. Now we have our adjustment clip here. Now we can paste Control V, that color grade, and boom. We have that grade applied to this shot, but if we turn it off, and on, you can see kind of the before and after. So this can totally be useful in some situations, but I would argue that features like groups and some of the other features in Resolves, also links for references in the doobity boop down in the description, I don't find that's the best use of adjustment clips within Resolve. So let me show you some things that I think work a bit better. Okay, so if we're looking at this shot, it's great and they're about to kiss in front of a fire and it's so romantic, but we're, we're Who's that guy in the background there? Now you could always zoom in on the clip, but something you can do with adjustment clips is I can make adjustments to the clip right on here. So now this clip is zoomed in and I can make any up and down, left and right, any type of movement there. So that can be super useful if, let's just reset things, and you have, let's say, a series of clips. So we're gonna go over top of it and we have all these clips and maybe for some reason we need to zoom everything in a little bit. Well, we can easily do that. And now everything is zoomed in and you don't need to make any compound clips. So that's pretty super duper easy. But if we can reset this again, it's also very useful for effects. So we have these two shots here where, you know, so you're just gonna go through, it's a guy in front of a burning bed, like normal, and then he takes his shirt off. Okay, whatever, you know, your average Tuesday. So, I'm gonna go into the adjustment clip and let's say we want some motion to this clip. Now, what I like to do to add motion is I like to go into open effects and use the, where is it here, just a second, and use the camera shake feature. So let's say I wanna add camera shake to both these clips. Okay, great. So I go in and I add camera shake to this, camera shake to that. So great, we now have a little bit of movement going on. So between the two clips, some movement, but let's say I want to adjust the motion, make it go real chaotic. Yeah, let's go real crazy. Okay, so now this one's crazy, but then this one isn't as crazy. And we could then make adjustments to this one in here and go in and, you know, make some adjustments here. But to do everything a little bit faster, let's just reset these. We can literally just take our adjustment clip, put it over top, add our camera shake, and now we have our camera shake applied. If we want to make any adjustments, we go in, make some global adjustments here. Yeah, sure, make it real, real crazy. Okay, so now we have those adjustments and we can apply them to other clips. Doesn't that look romantic? And this can also be super useful if you have a bunch of shots that you want to apply a post effect to, but they wouldn't all fit within the same group. And learn more about groups down in the reference link in the description, and I'm probably gonna make a video about it in the future, so look out for that. So if you wanna add a post effect, let's go in and add our adjustment clip on top. This is a great place to add any type of, let's say, film grain. Whatever happens within the clip happens first, then the adjustment clip happens second. So the adjustment clip happens last, and we can make some changes to our film grain. Yeah, let's go crazy with it and that's going to affect everything equally. Anyway, folks, I hope this helped you learn a little bit about adjustment clips and how you can use them in your workflow to maybe work things run a little bit smoother. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that button and get subscribed for lots more videos. And if you didn't like the video, well, you can hit the dislike button too if you want. Anyway, have yourself a good one and be on the lookout for the clones tutorial, hopefully dropping later this week. 
I think it's one of my coolest tutorials yet, so be on the lookout for that. Okay, bye.